One of my favorite sayings about aquariums is aquariums are foreign. What do, you, what do I mean by that? Well, if you have a dog or cat, you'll know if the, you know, if the air in your house is no good, you can feel it. You're going to know that it's no good for your dog and cat. But how do you know the water in your aquarium is no good for your aquarium? You look at it and it looks clear. Maybe it's a little hazy, but it doesn't look bad. Doesn't have much of a smell. Well, that's where test kits come in. Also, fish behavior. So the number one important thing is you've got to have oxygen. Well, if all your fish are at the surface and their mouths are agape and they're kind of gulping, that's a pretty good indication that there isn't enough oxygen in the tank and you need to start stirring the system up. Maybe the filter's clogged and it's not running and oxygen exchange happens at the surface. But also what happens naturally over time is the pH drops. And when the pH drops, the nitrifying bacteria stop working. And it, the reasons for this, you can go on to well, my YouTube channel. I've got details on that. But basically, the nitrification process produces an acid, which consumes alkalinity, which drops the pH. Once the pH is low, ammonia is in the wrong form for the nitrifying bacteria. So what do you do? You change a little water, the pH shoots up, and now your fish are stressed. Why? Because you didn't change enough water. When the pH went up, all that ammonia became toxic. So you need to do big water changes. How do you do all this? What do you do? Test kits. Have a pH test kit and a nitrite test kit. Well, what about ammonia? You want to get ahead of the problem. Nitrite will always appear before ammonia becomes a big issue in an established tank. For this and other tips, follow us at Dr. Tim's Aquatic.